Hi there. So measure the widest part of your bottom area. So here, down where my rear end is, is 94. Make sure it's straight. It's about 94 centimeters. The next step is to take into account the stretch factor of your fabric. Exactly where you just measured yourself, place the fabric in the same location, the top of the fabric in the same exact location, and pull it as snug as you're going to be wanting your underwear to be. Where it overlaps, put your finger there. Now let go. So you want to measure that circumference. I'm, I made a little mark where that overlapping went. And I'm going to take advantage of these lines to measure straight. All right, and this comes out to 60. Okay. So the stretch factor is the difference between your hip measurement and the measurement of the fabric around your hips. So, 95 minus 60 is 35. Now we have to take one last measurement before we begin. And that's going to be from the crotch level. I'll measure it over <laughs> on this side. Um, but where your crotch level begins to how high up you want your panties to go. So, this measurement, by the way, is not so uh, serious. You know, if you cut it a little too short, don't worry. Just add a, a piece of fabric on top afterwards. So, but try to get a general idea of how tall you want your panties to be. So, I guess I want them about 16. So, add a, a centimeter to whatever, or in your case, if you're in the United States, a half inch to whatever measurement you take. So I'll make it 17 inches, uh, 17 centimeters tall. I want to cut this 17 centimeters tall. The width right now is not important. Just draw a nice straight line. And I'll just fold it in half to make it easier to cut. Now, with pants or underpants, etc., usually the back part is bigger than the front part of the pattern. They're two different sizes. And the back part goes up higher, usually, than the front part, too. So this will be the front part. Put it on yourself. And make sure it's right in the middle. If you're wearing pants, you can use the seam of the pant to put it, you know, if they're fitting you the way you like them to. And line the one edge of the newspaper up with the seam or the middle of your two sides of your body. And bring it around to the other side and line the other side. You'll have to cut it off so it's at the middle on the other side. So I'm marking it with my finger. And now I'm just going to fold it there so I don't lose my place. That's where I'm going to cut. For the back part, I'm going to do the same thing, except the back has to be a little bit taller and a little bigger in the back. So I'm going to measure 20 centimeters tall for the back. And what you just did with the front, measuring the front from the half of your body to the other half of your body, do the same with the back. Start, again, you can use the seam if you're wearing pants. Line up the one edge with the seam of your pants, if you like the way they're fitting you. Put it down where your panties are going to go. Wrap it to the other side, and it will end where the other mid-seam is. So that's right there. I'll fold it there so I don't lose my place, and cut it. Now, I just want to show you then, this is the back piece. Sometimes you have to do it several times until you get it right. But the back piece is larger than the front piece, as you can see. Usually, in pants and in panties and in skirts, 
whatever you make for the bottoms, usually the back piece will be larger than the front piece because there's more to cover back there. Now, that would be the size if it were on a non-stretchy fabric. But now we have to take into account the stretch factor, which we said was 35 centimeters, and divide that by two because you have two pieces. So 35, okay, I'm going to make it easy. Let's say it's 34. So 34 divided by two would be 17. So cut off 17 centimeters from each piece. And you'll be seeing this get even smaller after this. So here's the 17. I'll just mark 17 and 17. Uh, and we want to leave a centimeter in there, however. So let's cut off 16, a seam allowance, which I always forget. So let's take off 16 centimeters. The seam allowance, if you don't know what it is, that's when you sew it, you're losing a piece of fabric too because it's going to be sewn inside the seam, so you've got to calculate that in to any pattern you make. I, sorry, sometimes I forget to talk about the seam allowance. So, 16 will be cut off from here, and we'll do the same for the top part. Fold it on that line you just made. So we're cutting off this. Do the same for the back piece. And now there's another cut we're going to do. Fold that in half. Because remember, all our patterns are by half. And if we need it for the two sides, we fold it over and cut it on a fold. So, our final pattern is going to look very small. You, you'll be surprised because you've let allowed, you've taken off for the stretch factor. Now you're taking off because it's, it's half. It's going to be half the piece. And we still haven't even gotten to the part where you cut for the legs. There. So this is the front. And I'm going to do the same for the back. Next, we're going to measure how high up we want it to go on our hip. So we want the panties, you know, if you like them really high cut, like this, you know, then you would have a thinner side. I like them a little bit not so high cut, so I'd like it to be about 12 centimeters wide. So take your front piece. Measure down from the top down to 12. Make a little mark. And do the same for the back. From the top down to 12. Now for the crotch area, that's, that's the part that's going to go in between your legs, you could go ahead and measure yourself. Or in my case, I know that I usually like my crotch with to be about 8 centimeters. So I want to make mine 8 centimeters to start and 8 centimeters to end. And then between where my legs are, the wider part of my leg, I'll make it 7 centimeters. So remember, since this is a half, we're going to measure in 4 centimeters. You're always going to do half. And I'm also taking into account the seam allowance here. Your first pair of underwear, I'll be honest, it's not going to come out good. I mean, it's not going to come out perfect. But from your first pair that you make, from all your mistakes, you'll know how to make your second pair. So we've marked here, and we've marked the 12 down here. So now just make the curve where you made the mark here, and make a nice little curve down to there. All right, there we go. And the same, that's the front piece. I'll do the same for the back piece. Cut this piece out. And here, just line it up and trace it. Line it up from the bottom and kind of trace it. Now the back piece, remember, is larger than the front piece. Okay, now lay down the pieces. And we'll be cutting half the crotch area. So we're going to cut one more piece that's going to go between these two. That'll make up for the, the area between your legs. So that is also going to be four. And you can even just do it this way if you don't feel like measuring anymore. Any variations of these will be your underwear.